Hey guys, thanks for dropping in and checking out this video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about fragrances. Um, I was just going through my stash and I, I want to sell some. I'm going to open up a Macari cart and start selling some stuff so I can get some money. Just, you know, there's actually quite a few fragrances I have that I don't like, like, at all. <laughs> at all. So, I'm going to work on decluttering. Um, but I do want to make some videos on the fragrances just to have, just to have, like, just to, like, refer back to. You know, something I can have a video of it, know that I had it remote so I can remember, to help me remember like what it smelled like, just kind of things like that. And just because I'm going to talk about them, just because I love fragrance. I love, I love fragrance and it inspired me to make this video. It's been a while since I made a fragrance video, um, but I just had like this profound experience. And this is why I love, the reason why I love fragrance so much, it's not about the aesthetic. It has nothing to do with the vanity of it and I'm not judging that that's fine if that's your thing but to me it's just like fragrance is so powerful because it just freaking it's time travel in a bottle like <laughs> it brings back so many memories um and that is what I want to talk about in this video is I just want to share with you some fragrances I have that are time travel fragrances for me that bring me back to my childhood and my teenage years and just things that have that I have encountered over the years that I have recollected and um just want to talk about them I just think it's so fun I think that is so 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 just so incredible I'm really curious as to how the brain, um, what is, I want to, I want to research and study like how the brain interacts with, with, with scent, with our, with our nose, um, how, how the heck it correlates with our memory because it, it's so, um, the way it helps me remember things in such great detail and um like i wouldn't be able to remember it i wouldn't be able to remember some of these core memories if i didn't have the fragrance to be able to smell to reference back it's really powerful and like i think that's just so incredible to me so i really want to search like how that process works i want to research that i want to know more about the brain and your nose and your senses and things like that. I've recently come across um, information about how we have kind of like two brain or not two brains, <laughs> two brains that we have like two noses that we have like our main nose and then there's the there's there's actually like a gland or there's something in our brain that acts as a scent receptor as well. So there's like different mechanics going on in our brain, which I find that extremely fascinating and interesting. And I just really, I just think it's profound. And they have also talked about recently in medical science that um, fragrance can help with dementia, pa dementia patients, people that have dementia. So I'm telling you guys like, super interesting and yes I do know like with perfumes with fragrance you do have to be careful because of toxins and all these other things and but I'm telling you like it really doesn't matter so much what it is like when we have a smell like smells just stick with us it doesn't matter if it's like a good or a bad smell like bad smells can bring back memories too so it's like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just finding it really interesting how how I can have these really clear memories come back to me when I smell things. And I just, I'm kind of like the reason why I have such a big, kind of like a hoarding collection is be, it's kind of like I'm trying to build memories. I'm trying to, because when I, now that I've, now that I have had some of these for like over a year now, when I smell them, I remember a year back. Like I remember that day. I remember when I opened it. I remember what I wore. I remember like so many things that I wouldn't remember if I didn't have the smell. <laughs> so that is why I love perfume and I love fragrance. I just find it so captivating. It's literally like they're like little like perfume is like a potion in a bottle. It's like time traveling. It can just take you back. And I think they're really 
really interesting. It's very like an interesting concoction. And I'm sure, you know, whoever started perfumery back in the, the ancient of times, because it's probably been around forever, but they knew this, you know, it's like a very powerful component to life and um, what it can do. So just if you're interested in that, if you like nerdy types of things, you might appreciate that as well. So I have a little bit of a little stash here that um I just wanted to share with you some of these aren't the OG of what I had when I was um a kid but they're like we'll get into it but the first one the first one which one do I want to start with which one do I want to start with oh where is it no this 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 we'll start with this one here this is vanilla fields this is a very old <laughs> older I don't know I don't know like saying it like that but this is an older fragrance um you can get this at like any drugstore uh, I got this at Walmart but this little thing I just smelled this tonight I'm like oh, it brought back so many memories um it's so little look how cute it is too this is like a vintage perfume I don't know the, the year it came out but I do know I got this for the very first time and I don't know why like, I don't know why I got this when I was so young, but I know I got it for Christmas and I think I was like, I feel like I was six or seven. Like, I don't know why my mom bought this for me for Christmas and I was like itty bitty, but she did and um, it might have been like a stocking stuffer or something, but I remember getting this on Christmas and I had got this um, stuffed animal, it's like a doggy stuffed animal that had I think it was like battery operated and had like the little leash and it like walked it's, I know it's its legs moved it was like animatronic and it had like a little water bowl and like I don't know but I remember it was black and white I remember a red dish bowl and so like tonight when I sm I sprayed this and smelled it it was like it took me straight back to that Christmas day I remember what I wore I remember the smell of this I literally like <laughs> it was so young and like no idea, but I remember I like sprayed the crap out of this. I, sa I saturated the stuffed animal doggy that I had in the fragrance, so it was like super strong and it was like way too much. And yeah, so <laughs> I don't know, it just that's profound to me because I would not have just normally thought of that memory if I didn't have this. Like, this just made me think so much about that day. And being up in my room and like the carpet that I had and we had this horrible carpet oh my gosh like my room was <laughs> oh my gosh I was literally so little and I remember that I remember like the Christmas tree I remember everything so weird like I can hear the sounds too it's like I can hear everyone in the background laughing and just weird crazy um so vanilla fields Yes, again, you can get this at, like, any drugstore, Walmart type of thing. I think. I mean, I got it at Walmart last, I think, in the spring. I actually got it this spring because I was like, I need it. This is core memory stuff. I need the core memories. It's like, those are the ones I'm trying to collect. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. I got to get them all. But, yeah, that's really profound to me. Um, It's re it's actually a really pretty fragrance. It smells really good. It's a really nice vanilla. Um, It has a hint of, like, there's a... Mm. there's a sharpness to it. It, it's, it is like, cause it says field. So I would say like a hint of greenness to it. So like a sweet vanilla with an edgy green sharp note to it. I don't know the notes. I didn't pull up any of like the scent notes for any of these fragrances. I'm just going off of a whim. This is not like a pre planned video. <laughs> I'm literally like, um, it's super late. It's like midnight and my kids are with their dad. So I have time to sit here and think and just enjoy the evening um my hair is looking a hair like a hair a hairy a hairy <laughs> no like I took a shower and then had some like coconut oil <sighs> and the coconut oil is like kind of got up in my hair that's what happens anyways uh what's the what what should we do next let me see what should we do next Okay, I'm going to go with this one because this was probably the time frame. Like, there's obviously fragrances in here 
or fragrances that I don't have that I wish I had. Like, I've been trying to find this one perfume I got at Hot Topic back when I was like 15. No, I was like 16, 15 or 16. And it was a Care Bear <laughs> perfume. It was Lucky Bear um, Care Bear. And so it was green. It had like the green Lucky Charm Care Bear. It was from Hot Topic and it just smelled so good. I've searched. I search all the time. I get online trying to like, oh, maybe it's some, maybe someone's got it on eBay. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's there. Like I can never find it. It's never anywhere. Um, really stinks because I really, really want that. <laughs> I would love to have that again. Uh, it smelled so good. I don't even know what the scent notes was, was but it was sweet. Maybe like a berry essence to it. It was a beautiful fragrance. It was lovely. Um, anyways, this one is not the perfume I had. This is actually the, the original. I had a dupe of this when I was a teenager. This is, uh, hold on. John, is it John Paul? John Paul Gatlier? I think, I, I cannot, I don't know. I literally just looked up the name of this before I made this video. I think it's John Paul Gatlier and this is Classique. Um, so I think this is like the first, there's like so many of these, like so many of these. And obviously they, they do have like the men's cologne and it's like a man body. So like this is the female version, but um, this is just like the OG. You can see like Gatlier. Uh, this is a tester bottle I bought off of, I don't remember, I think like some fragrance website. I got this recently too. I think I got this back in the spring, but um, because I wanted the, I honestly wanted the dupe. <laughs> the dupe was the one that I wanted because that's the one that I had when I was a teen. And I got it at like this store in my little small town called um, um, Kato's. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Kato's, but that's what we have in my little town. And I bought the dupe and it was like a, a lighter color. It was like a light pink shade, but it was the same type of bottle with like the female bottle figure. And, um, excuse me. It just smelled so good. It had like a very pretty, very girly smell, a sweet, uh, floral kind of powdery, but not like a grandma powder. But unfortunately, the OG gives me grandma vibes. So I, I don't like this at all. I would much prefer the dupe. Um, which obviously, I can never... Like, where am I going to find that at? I don't even know. But this is not... Mm -mm, no. I'm probably going to sell this. Um, which these buying, like, retail can be a little costly. So I'll probably sell it for pretty cheap. So if you... Well, no, I don't think I'm going to put my Macari cart on my YouTube channel. I probably should because you guys might want to buy some of my stuff that I'm going to sell, but I don't have like a PO box. So I don't want to put like my return address on <laughs> any packages that I might just because, you know, safety, whatever. So I don't know yet. I might, I, I need to get like a PO box so I can list my Macari cart and whatnot. If you guys want to buy some of my fragrances that I'm going to like get rid of. Because I know some of you guys really love perfume too that watch my stuff. So let me know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's a nice fragrance out of the Jean Paul or Sean Paul. However you say that, Jean Paul um, fragrances. I know it probably doesn't smell as good as some of the most recent ones. I know there's some really nice ones that have came out recently that people like love and, you know, but... I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> it's too old for me. Um, it just smells really powdery. It smells really like, it's just a lot. It's strong. It just gives grandma vibes to me. So I don't really like it. Um, uh, moving on to the next one that gives me memories. And I bought this one this spring. I kind of got a lot of fragrances over spring. I haven't really bought anything recently. Um, but this one I got, it was cheap. It was a cheapy one. I bought it at the same time. I got this from Walmart. I got this from Walmart as well. And this brings back memories. And I'm not 100% sure if she wore this or not. But it reminds me of my grandma. Straight up my grandma. And it's called Taboo. This is a very old fragrance. This is like one of the 
Oh, Lord God Almighty. Ah, smelling it just from the nozzle after it's been sprayed is not the same experience of spraying it in your room. Like, it's enjoyable when you, I'm not going to spray it because it is strong as hell. I tell you, it is strong. And you spray it in your room and you come back in and it's like, holy crap, you don't realize. It's one of them things, it's like, you go anosmic or anesmic. What is that, that word when you can't, your nose like goes nose blind? this does it to you so you don't realize how strong it is till you leave and come back and it's like oh my gosh but i find this fragrance super interesting i love the history of this this is one of the most um one of the oldest perfumes like this came out what is the oldest perfume it's like not the oldest perfume forgive me on that but this started like the trend of like fragrances that were created for a certain group of women and it was for women who were um doing the what is that word called uh i don't want to say i don't want to say the word the word that it basically adult workers will say that women who did adult adult work it has a word i think it starts with a, it starts with a b but i can't i can't remember the word like what is that word? It starts with a B. You know what I mean? Like a club, but it's like, it had a word. It's like an older word, like 19, 1940s, 20s, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, it was, it was made <laughs> for that type of activity specifically. So at that time frame, if you wore this, it would be seductive. It would make people think like, oh, she's seductive. Okay, well, we, we'll try to keep this video <laughs> PG um but that's what this one like was advertised for and it's called taboo um I, I actually like I said I enjoy the smell just spraying it like in your room and like it reminds me a bit of incense um there's a very earthy smell to it like I can't spray it right now but oh it's so strong it's strong but <laughs> it does kind of remind me of incense um, but no, I can never wear this. I could never wear this. This is just something fun to just spray like very, very rarely if you need like some kind of strange experience that you just want to like escape reality, spray this and then leave the room and then come back and just break down those layers of smells and be like, enjoy the ride. And unfortunately, I think my grandma wore this. I swear, I think she wore this because I remember giving her a hug and she was wearing her, um, hold on, like a jumper suit. Like what are those called? Not a jumper suit. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Like the back in the day, like in the nineties, they were like that <laughs> shiny material and the zip up jacket, a jumper. Is that what, like a tracksuit, like a tracksuit. She had like this, like, <laughs> oh, my grandma, my grandma, I tell ya. I love my grandma. She's no longer here, but I swear I smelled this on her. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the next, because I have a few, and this is already getting to be a long video. Be warned, I make long videos. I, this is therapy for me. Making videos is like therapy. It's something about just talking like to the camera, to my imaginary audience is like therapeutic. And it, you know what's strange is I'm an introvert. And if I was actually around people, I wouldn't be able to talk like this in front of people. <laughs> That's what's weird. I can do it like premeditatively, like before, I, I don't know, but like being around people, I shut down. I'm super shy. I'm super quiet, like, but, doing it this way allows me to really like verbalize and like be myself and yeah that's weird where where were we let's get back um oh my goodness I'm talking a lot I'm getting a lot of air I feel like I have to burp <laughs> okay let's see let's go to this one no let's go to this one because this was my mama's fragrance because we already talked about taboo I was reminding my grandma and this straight up 
this was my mom's fragrance look at here and this started <laughs> last summer this this started my freaking problem <laughs> this started my problem see listen i've been going through a lot of emotional stuff i did the, this fragrance thing to kind of like fill a void and that's you know i'm being really i'm being really human right now and vulnerable judge me if you want to i don't care i have nothing to hide um but truthfully like truthfully like when you start getting into like a shopping addiction or any kind of addiction or yes addiction let's just talk about addiction because ser seriously it's a void you're trying to fill a void and gosh i'm gonna get emotional Woo! it's getting easier i guess but not really but maybe <laughs> I've learned to adjust and anyways I'm not like doing buying anymore crazy like buying because I will admit I think it's ridiculous that's why I need to sell some because it's ridiculous it's too much it's stupid like no offense to anyone out there who um might have way more than me that's fine <laughs> And maybe it's not ridiculous. Maybe I'm just saying that. Like, why am I judging myself? That's stu that's silly. No judgment here. But anyways, last fall, I was washing the dishes. Or last summer, whenever the hell I bought this. <laughs> I was, ooh, I caught it. Not even last summer because it's been over. It was not this summer, but oh my gosh. Anyways, I was washing the dishes and... I was thinking of my mom and being a kid and going to church and she always sprayed this. This is Treasure by Lancome and or Treasure. How do you say that? Treasure, Treasure, Treasure by Lancome. Anywho, um, I just was like, I need it. I need that fragrance. I just needed it to like, I don't know. This is going through a lot of sounds. Like I'm just thinking of my mom. Like I, you know, I don't know. It was just I needed something homey and cozy being an adult you know it's not always like I don't have a close relationship with my family um it just is what it is we're all grown you know we're just old <laughs> we're all old and we don't really get together we don't really life is hard and challenging and anyways there's just a lot going on there but Sometimes you just need something to bring back the memories and so that's why I purchased this one and this is a really pretty fragrance um, it's a pear I believe or it's pear or it's either pear or apricot I think it might be apricot I can't I'm gonna spray it in a minute and spray it mm. this is a nice perfume this came out in the 90s and um i feel like it's still good for today i think you could still pull this off for today um it doesn't give me like old lady vibes this is a very clean this is like a it's sharp there's a sharp note in it that gives it almost like a sourness but it's clean and floral and kind of sweet but not super sweet this is not like a anything at all like a gourmand this is just giving like a nice fresh clean a little a little sharpness to it um with that apricot it's just more of a clean girl pretty girl scent but not super pretty i don't know how to explain it i mean it is pretty it's a sophisticated fragrance it's really really nice um every time i smell it, i just think of her going to church and wearing like a really pretty outfit she always got herself looking so nice she is a virgo so <laughs> yeah virgos are very particular on things so that totally makes me think of her um moving on to the next thing <sighs> do 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 let's go with this love spell love spell love spell yes i got some body sprays in here um love spell by victoria's secret like come on come on if you're old you know you know what's up with this <laughs> not even that old i mean i'm 35 but 
you know what gosh darn I'm 35 it's like 40 is not that far away 40 is not that far away okay uh, <laughs> I love it <laughs> I still love this um I started wearing this in let me think how old was I excuse me I think I was like I'm not gonna edit this. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. If you if you don't like me being human, sorry. Find a different channel because that's what I am. I'm a human being. <laughs> I don't got time to edit shit. You know, I'm tired. But this <laughs> is so good. It has the notes on the back. It's got cherry blossom, fresh peach, impossible to resist. It says. But it's definitely got some bergamot or some mandarin. There's an orange note in here. Um, it is so good. It says it's got cherry blossom for, and then a peach. To me, it just gives like an orange cream, almost a creaminess. Um, because it's purple, I always want to think of lavender, but there's no lavender. I guess that cherry blossom, but I, it doesn't smell like the notes to me. This gives me just like a, a, a pretty purple florally orange that's what it makes me think of um yeah it's nice it's really good but I started wearing this my um my sister-in-law gifted me and her other bridesmaids because I was in my I was in her wedding my brother's wedding I think I was 14 or 15 and she gifted us all body sprays and this is what I, her um I think her color had pur she had purple in her wedding colors I don't know but I remember getting it when I was like 15 and I wore it a lot that summer and it's so nice it brings back those memories of the wedding it makes me think of that summer going to school and all the girlies were wearing Victoria's Secret you know they had love spell um what's the other one there's other ones like there's a pink one and a blue one and I got all of them actually I rebought all these like yeah I know it's ridiculous I know but <laughs> yeah it's a really good body spray and it's a classic really it is they still sell it remake it now um so it's not like the OG you know it's been remodified probably but it's, to me it smells exactly the same I can't smell a difference um moving on what else um let's move to this one because I think I was about 16 or 17 when I bought this this is called uh this is by Daniel Steele and it's just called Dan or no was it called Daniel Steele I think it's just called Daniel Steele Daniel not Daniel it's Danielle Danielle Steele and um she is an author I believe I had no idea when I bought this like who the I didn't pay attention to like the house or who it was I just went into Kohl's when I was like 16 or 17 with my boyfriend at the time <laughs> and we were buying like Christmas gifts for family and or he might have been my fiance at the time I got married really young I can't remember that was a long time ago but I just remember being at Kohl's and I'm going through like their perfumes and looking at stuff and then like they were having like sales <laughs> I don't know like Christmas sales Oh, this smells really good still, though. And, um, I just grabbed this and smelled it, and I was like, ooh, I really like it. I heard something. Um, but I was like, I really like it. This, now that I have been more exposed to fragrances, has a similarity to, um, Viva La Belle. Is that the word? Viva La Belle? I think that's what it's called, but it's by Lancome, I think. It's a very, like, yeah, it makes me think of Viva La Belle by Lancome. And, um, yeah, that's just what it smells a lot like, but it's a little bit more white floral than, like, the, um, Viva La Belle has more of a, a ambery darker heavier note this is a little bit lighter than that but it's still really strong and heavy 
this is not like for the faint of heart at all i don't know why i resonated to this when i was like 17 because this is a grown-ass woman scent um i just liked it it's it is sweet it has a sweetness to it i remember it was like really headache inducing at the time and so i really couldn't wear it a lot but when i did wear it like i remember wearing it i remember my hoodie i had like um i had a uh I want to say it was Puma. It was either Puma hoodie or, um, oh, it was like a skater. It was like, I got it at Pac Sun in the mall, which is like a skater at the time. That was like a skater store. And like, that's where we would buy our whatever, Etnies or Etnies. That's what, that was what was in when I was in middle school. I had, I had my purple and black Etnies and my pink and gray hoodie. <laughs> And I think it was like a Puma hoodie. Anyways, I remember spraying that hoodie with this. And I can remember Christmas morning wearing I wore this on Christmas. I wore this going out with family, like family get togethers, like visiting people. Like I remember I, mar I remember the cold snow and smelling this off my hoodie with like the cold air hitting my nose. So this is a really, really transcendent fragrance for me. It brings me back to those times and it kind of makes me emotional thinking about it because it's like, it's a whole different time frame with family and just, it's one of those like powerful fragrances for me. So um, I'll always have that probably in my stash just to smell and remember. Um, Moving on <laughs> to the next one. I'm almost done. Uh, this is not the original at all but I have just recently purchased this this fall from Bath and Body Works it is vampire blood look at this bottle though it is so cute I think they're still selling this so if you find it interesting jump on Bath and Body Works they do have like sales if you get on the mobile app you'll get updates when they get their sales and they will drop these down to like $5.95 sometimes $4.95 so definitely worth getting the sale um if you do like a buy one or if you do if you buy online you can pick it up in the store like if you have a local bath and body works around and then you don't have to pay shipping shipping is a pain on the online because it's like they rarely ever have free shipping so that's kind of annoying but if you get it in store Get it for like five six bucks that's a really good deal because normally this runs like 18 dollars. so but anyways i i got this this fall and i was really taken back by it when i first smelled it i had all these memories and i was like what is this this is something i used to wear and maybe it was from bath and body works i don't know but i do remember having a body spray that smelled just like this when i was like 15 or 13 or somewhere in my teens maybe even my later teens I don't remember but I remember the bottle was purple and black and I might have got it at Walmart I might have got it at Bath and Body Works I don't know where I bought it but it smelled just like this it's like a berry yummy sweet fragrance this says it has red berries night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum I don't know but I I don't know what it was it was purple and black so I know it was like probably I had this big obsession with raspberry perfume that was like my thing like raspberry fragrance like in my later teens up into like my early 20s I always wanted to find raspberry uh fragrances because I fell in love with um probably that body spray because this reminds me of raspberry but um also I got at uh started wearing closer to like my 20s um Bath and Body Works it was like the raspberry vanilla perfume they have they used to have like perfumes and like all of their body sprays they stopped doing that I don't know why but <laughs> I used to buy that and that was like my my scent for a really long time I wore that that raspberry vanilla that was my stuff it was really good but this smells a lot like it so it was really nice to have this because it takes me back to the like fall of like a teenager and like just like this mysterious vibe like <laughs> being a curious teen and all of those 
random things that I probably won't talk about, but it makes me think of that. Yes, fragrance is powerful. So I really have, I'm really glad I have this. And, and it's weird because it's like, when I bought this, it just made me aware of all the smells that I have stored in my mind, but I don't remember like, I don't remember them. Like I don't, re I'm like literally starting to lose. It's kind of bad. I need to do like a detox, but I'm starting to lose memories. 35 and I can't remember a, a quite a few things like people's like, like elementary school friends. Like I, some of them, I can't remember like their last name. Can't remember. So it's important to have things that help you remember. Um, yeah, so that's weird. But okay, the last one that I have, and this is sad because it gives me kind of a sad memory. But it's a really pretty smell. It's like bittersweet because it gives me good memories, but it gives me like bad memories. And this is Treasure Midnight Rose. You can see it there. I'm using like my f my um, selfie camera on my phone so it doesn't have like very good quality but that's okay. Uh, anyways this is old as hell. I've ha this is like an o this is OG. Out of all of them this is the only one that is an OG that I've kept from the original time I bought it which was back in like 2013. <laughs> yeah so it's like that old. It's like 11 years old 11 years old that's old but um that's 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 as much as I've sprayed and worn uh I I, I rarely ever wear this I mean this was like the only perfume I had for a really long time because I didn't start buying fragrances like this till like last year and this was the only one I had besides a couple like old ass body sprays that I bought from Walmart like I did not give two shits about my self-care like in like after my divorce and like having a job because I was a um, stay-at-home mom and I just I was a mom and took care of the kids and my ex-husband he was the provider and I did not ask for anything I did not buy myself anything I barely bought myself new underwear and bras like I went I wore everything to rags and holes because he was I, I got to be a stay-at-home mom you know and and he provided and he did not have like a like he had a uh just a normal kind of job like a warehouse job right like we didn't make a lot of money you know like but we made it work and I respected him for that like I respected him and how he provided for us and I didn't have the the interest to you know buy myself anything like I just didn't I, I, was, I was like duh I can't buy myself this stuff I gotta make do with what I have but it was worth it because being a mother and being with my babies when they were babies was like the most important thing to me I would have sacrificed anything to be home with my babies and that was not even a second thought. So I had no issues, you know, not buying myself stuff. Like, I just didn't care. I just had no desire in anything like that. Like, I just want my kids to have what they had and make sure we had food and I cooked and cleaned. And, you know, that's what I did. So anyways, that ended. And I'm not going to talk about that at all. <laughs> but anyways, um... I work now and <laughs> now that I have my own job and it's not like I didn't work before but like because I literally I got a job when I was 16 like as soon as I got my license I was working I did not have no silver spoon I had to work for my phone I had to work for my gas I had to work to get clothes I had to work for everything <laughs> Wait, just I'm kidding. oh my gosh okay I'm back um, anyways, I don't know what I was saying, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to go in and edit this video now, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. This perfume is, um, Treasure Midnight Rose by Lancome. Why are you guys so close to me? What the heck? I swear. 
feels weird like what happened and um anyways this took me um I was trying to find raspberry perfume um and so this is why I I bought this because I was on a raspberry like kick and this has notes of raspberry uh this has what else does this have this has a lot it has rose it has raspberry it has um oh, what's the other thing there's a lot of things going on in here hold on there's something there's a note in this there's a note in this that reminded me of something else i think it's like a vanilla a vanilla musk there's vanilla musk there's like a deep i think there might be like a cedar there's like some piney stuff going on. This is a very sophisticated fragrance. It's really pretty. Um, this is an evening wear. It's 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 a very beautiful fragrance. That's why I can't I can't get rid of it because it's like it's so luxurious to me. It just gives like very like fancy, <laughs> and it's just pretty. It's just really pretty. Um, but it is really strong. Like you can't just wear it. It used to give me headaches really bad when I was younger. Like fragrances used to give me really bad headaches. So I couldn't really wear them when I was younger. Now things like I can spray the crap out of stuff. And I'm like fine. It's really weird. I don't know. But when I spray that one. It unfortunately reminds me of a an argument that I had with my ex-husband. When we... Um, I bought that when my son was like two, two and a half, and um, we went to this park. I remember the day like so clearly. I remember what I was wearing. I remember it was hot. We went to this park and our little boy was like running around and he was just being a little boy doing his thing and I don't know but he... My ex would just get so angry. He was just angry all the time. He was just, just very angry. He was just never... <sighs> Anyways, so it makes me kind of sad when I think about it. It makes me remember that day and I was so hurt and I felt so... I felt so alone and... Um, I just wanted to have a good day. I remember being excited and we we're gonna have a family day, go to the park and it just turned out to be so awful and sad and I just remember him being angry and it didn't feel safe and so it makes me think of those those things and so that kind of sucks <laughs> but um that's okay I can't get rid of it for some reason it's just like one of those things like it also reminds me like I wore it when we bought the house and I wore it to the showing and I wore it like I wore it other times too obviously but I don't know I might have to get rid of it because it does give me such a bad memory it's so sad but at the same time the bad memories aren't always bad because it, it solidifies where I am today and the choices that I've made and why I'm now unmarried <laughs> and divorced so it's kind of like, if I ever, not that I ever do feel any type of way, but it's just like, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why. Uh, no. <laughs> God, that's crazy. Anyways, um, I hope this was an interesting video for all of my perfumey people. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I don't want to end this on such a sad note because now I feel really sad. <laughs> oh my god. Um, let me see. Let me let me go back to the first one because this made me happy. Let me smell this again. Okay, there we go. Christmas with my little stuffed animal doggy, and now I'm happy. <laughs> see, it's such like mood booster stuff. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. Drop a comment down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if there's anything you would like to see me talk about in the perfume category of it all. Because, like, I know some of you have commented on some of my perfume videos. And thank you so much. Um, I would love to do updates on things. I just haven't had the 
the inspiration, the motivation to do it. Like there are days where I'm like, woohoo, let's do this. Um, I struggle with self like conscious things. Like there's a lot of times where it's like, why did I make that video? I don't look pretty. I don't have makeup on. My hair isn't a particular way. And I can be really, really, um, uh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I'm working on it. So I got to go with the flow when I feel inspired and I felt really inspired to make this tonight. Thank you again for being here. Bye.